the coast to coast is the most popular long distance hike in Great Britain. It starts at St. Bees in Cumbria and it finishes at the other side of the country at Robin Hood's Bay in North Yorkshire. I hiked the coast to coast in May of 2023. On my own, I camped some nights and I stayed at B&Bs or hostels on other nights. Join me on this incredible journey as I navigate some of the toughest hiking that the UK has to offer with a 17 kilogram backpack, exploring some of the most beautiful places in the country. On this journey, I'm very open about the realities of solo hiking, such a monumental route and struggling with loneliness and fatigue as I push my mental and physical limits. With that said, please sit back, relax and enjoy watching. where I camp, it's just between these benches and as always leave no trace, all it is is just a bit of flattened grass. morning look at how lovely it is it's so clear and sunny and bright <laughs> um thought i'd say you don't have to do the high route you can do the uh, medium route i call it the medium route because there's a low route down there <laughs> and uh considering i've got another 18 to 20 mile day to do today i figured why slow myself down so i'm sticking to the more still undulating but not not too steep kind of terrain but you still get amazing views look at all that and you get going faster so i need to get i need to build a good pace to uh set me off for the day instead of going up first thing in the morning and tiring myself out and burning myself out <laughs> it doesn't look too bad but still it's good to start at a level like this. I think I'd 
definitely made the right decision coming this way through the beautiful woodlands because not only is it beautiful woodlands <laughs> and it's not going up and down and up and down and costing me time but the heat oh my god in these woods in the shade i'd say it's about 16 degrees perfect it's really nice and cool compared to the parts when you walk between the woodland oh my god when there's no shade easy easily 20 maybe mid 20s already you know it's only 10 o'clock half 10 so up there climbing up nah <laughs> nah screw that oh my god but i'm just I'm, I'm really enjoying this absolutely absolutely loving this like woodland oh my god it smells so good and if you've watched my other videos i do mention it a few times especially in the west highland way video i think like day three or something or four maybe um yeah i just talk about how just the smell of the woods is just the smell of happiness for me it's like home it's just oh. <laughs> It's everything, it's like the soil, the earth, the mulch, the, the the pine needles, you know, when there's pine trees and oh, it's just so good. <laughs> so just from, from just the smell alone, I'm just having a really good time. crazy because that um, pointy hill I think is called Rosebury Topping and um, I remember yesterday that came into view on the horizon and I was like oh bloody hell that's a pointy one and it was a triangle and I've passed it so much so that it's a complete different perspective that I'm looking at it. North York Moors much nicer than the dales because it's actually a variation so this is round hill i'm on the trig points just up there but it's off the path so round hill just come up urramore and uh car ridge before that now i'm in greenhow moor and heading to blowworth crossing where the coast to coast leaves the cleveland way because it's been part of the cleveland way since well for a couple of days now so I'll be doing the Cleveland Way at some point this or next year, so yeah, look out for that and I'll obviously recognise this whole area in the last two days that I've come through and uh, yeah, I'll see where I end up. I know there's uh, an inn coming up, but I'm going to try and get further than that. I think it's called Lion Inn. I might stop there and charge my things because this and my phone are less than half charged and my power banks are both dead so and I, and I mean picking up in about 26 27 hours so yeah I've, I've got to get some charging them for sure so I've just checked my Strava app let's check that's uh, tracking my mileage and, and everything and I set off exactly three hours ago almost to the minute and I've done exactly six miles so yeah two miles an hour which, which uh, checks out especially considering there was a lot of steep down and then steep uphill for a while until this point so yeah that's good to know I'm on pace basically <laughs> So that where I've just passed is Bloweth Crossing and that's where the Cleveland Way and the Coast to Coast Trail split so Cleveland Way would be up there and Coast to Coast along here. 
Also, my map tells me that this is a dismantled railway, which is cool. So I've done nearly 10 miles now since I've left uh, Lordstones this morning and um, I haven't stopped for a break or sit down, even take my bag off until now and yeah, nearly 10 miles so I've just been absolutely powering along this track it's been kind of it's like a trek it, I'm, I'm grateful it's all level and easy and you can walk along it really fast like I have been doing, I've been speeding along it um, but it's just, you know you just get lost in your mind a bit because there's nothing really to it there's some views down there, a nice valley green trees, village, farms whatever, but yeah, it's just a bit plain again, nothing as bad as as plain as the uh, Yorkshire Dales, but still it's just, I don't know, there's no variation there's absolutely no shade it's hot anyway, I'm not complaining, I'm getting on with it <laughs> I'm enjoying it someone told me um, a, a hiker, a man, he was like you know what, I've noticed that I, uh, when in pain or ill or on a hike the men complain a lot more than the women <laughs> and to be honest now he's mentioned it i'm thinking back to like you know times i can think of and i see it i really do like the men do complain more than the women and i'm not trying to start a men versus women thing because that stuff just doesn't matter but it's just a funny kind of i don't know comparison i wonder why you know it might be because maybe we can withstand more because of you know childbirth and periods and stuff and this is like definitely TMI but um I've been getting real bad cramps in the last two days speaking of lady stuff so I've been hiking 20 miles a day yesterday and I'm gonna do today with really bad cramps and with a bag on my back that everyone has taken in turns lifting and said oh my god <laughs> on my own and just you know it's a lot it is a lot and I've put myself through a lot on this and I'm really pushing it and I'm hardly taking breaks I think I'm I'm nearly halfway for the day which is good considering the time is 20 past one yeah the time's like 20 past one about halfway been hiking for about four hours four hours exactly yeah i've been hiking for four hours and 10 miles i think that's good going same as yesterday really <sighs> once i get to the line in i hope it's open because i need a proper sit down and i need to charge my things and i hope it's open and a coffee or a pint depending on how i'm feeling and that can be my like kind of proper rest if you know what I mean for the day and then I can shoot off and do the rest but I think that's a couple of miles away still maybe two three possibly four miles no I don't think it's four miles we'll see though does anyone happen to know what that is there's nothing on my map and I've no data to google it says Sykes and then there's like I can see two metal structures there I wonder if it's like a memorial thing, or a land thing, or if, it, if there's a farm called Sykes and it belongs to it, I don't know. If anyone knows though, let me know please. The section in the uh, North York Moors passes a few different, I mean it joins a few different uh, hiking routes. So obviously we've got the Coast to Coast and the Cleveland Way which we split off from back there. I'm on the Lyke Wake Walk, 
I think it's pronounced and I've been on and off that for the past couple of days and uh, also I'm on the Samaritan Way which is cool and the Esk Valley Walk I joined just down there so <laughs> there's quite a lot in the area that cyclist is the first person I have seen in hours I think it's been about two maybe three hours since I saw the last hiker or cyclist so <laughs> I was feeling, feeling a little bit uh, isolated and lonely so yeah that was nice Are they grouse? Oh, you guys. That is too cute. <laughs> Sorry if I've like disturbed you guys. <laughs> this is where we pass the trail for the Esk Valley Walk. So it comes up there, crosses with the coast to coast, and you can see some paths down there and I believe that would be a nice one to do one day yeah that would be nice because that valley looks gorgeous and I can only imagine it's quite nice over there too hello so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're gorgeous. Look at you. Stick anyone up there is the line in past that red it's not that red uh, little outhouse it's uh, just past there I saw I could see it from back there oh my god my feet are killing I think I'm gonna allow myself a good hour even though yeah it sets me back for time but I need it and more importantly not more importantly but yeah it kind of is i need to charge my devices i need to charge my power bank at least and my phone so despite planning to stay at the lion inn for just an hour i'd end up camping there due to reasons that i'd discussed the following morning i had a great night there and was lucky enough to catch a gorgeous sunset as well as the full strawberry moon from the comfort of my tent the names on my screen right now are all my patrons who I seriously want to thank so much helping supporting me my channel helping me getting these videos out and just support in general so thank you so much and if anyone wants to become a patreon then check the link in the description it's right there at the top and you'll see your name at the end of every one of my videos so thank you again guys and I'll see you in the next one Tomorrow.